In this video, I will give you the proof of a fact that we actually discovered experimentally, that when you decompose a matrix as a product of an orthogonal and a symmetric matrix, or same kinds of matrices but in the opposite order, symmetric times orthogonal, that perhaps surprisingly, the resulting orthogonal matrices are the same matrix. There was no reason to assume something like that because matrices don't commute in products, but it's actually true. Even though I didn't know that at the time, but once I noticed it, I realized that this can be proved in a number of simple ways. And one of those ways is based on the singular value decomposition. And that's the proof that I will show you right now. Here it is. You can go from the singular value decomposition to either one of these decompositions very easily. Let's first think about how we would go from the singular value decomposition to this decomposition. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to extract the matrix X, which is very easy to do because X is easily invertible, being orthogonal. So we'll grab it out of Y and we'll group it with these two matrices. Here's how you would do it. You would say Y, X transpose, X, lambda, X. All right, so, excuse me, lambda, X transpose, so here's our lambda x transpose. I pulled x out of y. And to make up for it, I threw an x inverse, which is x transpose. Another way of looking at it is sticking the identity matrix right in the middle here and simply writing the identity matrix as x transpose x because that's the inverse of x, x transpose. So in either case, this equals this. So this is still the matrix A and then of course, this matrix right here is S1, and this orthogonal matrix, product of two orthogonal matrices, is Q1. Okay? Now we're going to do the same thing, but go from this to this. I think you should do it on your own, maybe pause the video, and then come back and check to see whether you have the same thing as what we have. But here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do now is extract Y transpose out of X transpose. So we have Y lambda Y transpose. And I'm writing the equal sign because in all cases we're dealing with the matrix A. In fact, these two also equal the matrix A. So here's what we're going to have. We're going to have Y lambda Y transpose. Now let me look back to make sure I have space. I do, just barely, times Y X transpose. Did I make it fit? Yes. So what are we looking at here? Well, this combination right here is a giveaway for a symmetric matrix. That what, that's what symmetric matrices look like. So this must be S2. And in fact, as you can see, it's different from S1. And then this matrix right here must be Q2. Q2. So Q1 equals y x transpose and q2 equals y x transpose. So our conclusion is that q1 equals q2. So what was unexpected and surprising when we discovered it experimentally is actually not at all surprising and the singular value decomposition is the key to that realization.